So you've seen me use the four lock sequence, so I show this four lock sequence so that everyone understands how to lock the body. You want to stay away from this kind of martial arts movement. It has to be tight. I want to always be in a good position of control of the body. And now I come around with this goose head, and then I finish off with the hammer lock, okay? So that's all great. You know, I show you all the locks, but it's the doing of it in what situation. So then I teach how to control the upper body and how to not disrupt the rest of your establishment by saying, I'm going to try and hug you. You stop me from hugging you. So I try to hug you one arm inside. This is called pummeling. So right away, we're not in a fight. We're in a control restraint. I'm trying to tack his head, but I can't. He's lifted my arms. So let's see. The first thing I taught you was wrist lock. And there's the tap so that pressure is on, so go, go ahead and keep that wrist lock. Now we want to learn how to pass out, so I'm struggling, I'm in pain, someone's got to be talking to me, you know, everything's going to be okay, we're, we're going to take you to the front, we're going to let you go, so you guys are talking, you're going to bring me up into that goose head, okay. you're going to be letting him know what you're doing, you got to let him know what you're doing, you take your time, said, take okay. your time. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Here it goes. Ah, pass off. Okay, yeah. man, okay, man, you're breaking okay, my sir. hand, you're breaking okay, my okay, hand. Sir. You know, they say all kind of stuff. Clear the way. I'm on okay. my toes. You're killing me, man. You're killing me. As long as I'm going where I'm supposed to go. Well, let's go at the front door. And break. So that's how you see those locks work. The wrist lock, uh, the arm lock. And then the last one, which uh, I believe is the most forgiving. Um, if you're bigger, I'm going to show you how a smaller person does it to a bigger person. And then how a bigger person does it to a smaller person. So when a, when a smaller person does it, I'm, I'm shorter. When I lock out the hammer lock, I don't go like this because he's bigger than me and he would just outpower me. So you've seen in previous videos that I've done that. So I make sure to cut him off from all this muscle mass where I cut into the elbow position. But because if you stand tall, see, he doesn't really care about what I'm doing. So I'm just going to turn around here. So all I do is I adjust to me, my body, and I find that position. If I still don't like the, the control of the pressure, I'm just going to cross reach. And so for a bigger person, I can have control. Now for him, the danger when you're training uh, security guards is that they dislocate or hurt your patrons or your clients. You don't want that to happen either. So when they're training and you come underneath that left, they have to understand that they're bigger. So we're just going to turn around. So you have to go more shallow with your hand. And that, like I'm already on my toes. So he just has to practice to be yeah, I'm, I'm locked down. So there's no lifting, there's no bullying or wrestling. You just have to learn uh, a lot of discipline and self-control when you put those locks on. Okay, so that's how we'll put on the hammer lock. So now we have to figure out how to put on the hammer lock from that struggle or pummeling. So we'll go back to the pummeling of control. You know, we're fighting for position. He's got me here. You gotta communicate the entire time to me so you could be telling me that everything's gonna be okay and you're telling him what you're doing. I'm putting right? the hammer lock. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why you guys do this. You're gonna bust me up. Oh. Okay. And right, then it's tight, man. It's tight. Oh my god, you're gonna break my arm. Everything's gonna be okay, not. sir. Is it? Is it's it? It's gonna be okay. <laughs> and you're gonna go outside and you're gonna be alright, sir. Okay, so that's a two man escort, which I also believe is really important, is that two or three guards escorting out. Uh, one guard.